Texan Global School Greatest Common Divisor and Least Common Multiple In this class, we will analyze and compare the greatest common divisor and least common multiple of a set of numbers. The greatest common divisor is the largest integer capable of dividing a set of numbers. It is obtained by calculating the prime factors of each number. Subsequently, the product of those prime factors that share all the numbers will be the greatest common divisor. Let's look the first example. We will find the greatest common factor of 12, 24, and 32. As we mentioned in the process, we will obtain the prime factors of each of the numbers separately. The first prime factor of 12 is 2 since 12 divided by 2 is 6. The next prime factor is also 2 since 6 divided by 2 is 3. And the last prime factor is 3 since 3 divided by 3 is 1. The prime factors of 24 are 2, 2, 2, and 3. The prime factors of 32 are 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2. As we can see, all numbers have the same prime factor, which is 2. However, the maximum factor is 4, since it is the largest integer that can divide all the numbers. In this other example, we will find the greatest common factor of 18, 24, and 30. As we mentioned in the process, we will obtain the prime factors of each of the numbers separately. The prime factors of 18 are 2, 3, and 3. The prime factors of 24 are 2, 2, 2, and 3. The prime factors of 30 are 2, 3, and 5. As we can see, all numbers have the same prime factor, which is 2 and also 3. Hence, the maximum factor is 6, since it is the largest integer that can divide all the numbers. The least common multiple of a set of numbers is the smallest number capable of being divided by each element. The least common multiple is calculated by obtaining the prime factors of each number. So then, the least common multiple will be the product of the common and uncommon factors. In the following example, we will obtain the least common multiple of 12, 24, and 32. First, place the numbers horizontally apart and draw a vertical line. To the right, place the multiples of these numbers, and to the left the result of the division. At least one of those numbers is divisible by 2, so write the 2 on the right side. Then divide the numbers by this value and write the results on the left side. In this case, 6, 12, and 16. Again divide by 2 since at least one number is divisible by this prime number. Now, write on the right side the 2 and the result of the division on the left side. Hence, we have 3, 6, and 8. Once again, at least one number is multiple of 2. So, put the 2 on the right side and write the result of the division on the left side. We can see that 3 is not divisible by 2, so it is left as is. Thus, obtain 3, 3, and 4. Divide again by 2 since at least one number is divisible, resulting 3, 3, and 2. Again by 2, thus obtaining 3, 3, and 1. Finally, divide by 3, thus obtaining 1, 1, and 1. The product of these multiples will be the least common multiple of that set of numbers, which is 96, since it is the smallest number that can be divided by all those numbers. In this other example, we will find the least common multiple of 18, 24, and 30. Then obtain the prime factors. Start with 2 since at least one number is divisible. By dividing results 9, 12, and 15. Once again by 2 obtaining 9, 6, and 15. And we can still divide by 2, obtaining 9, 3, and 15. Now, by 3 thus obtaining 3, 1, and 5. Again by 3, results 1, 1, and 5. Finally, by 5 we get 1, 1, and 1. Therefore, the least common multiple of 18, 24, and 30 is 360. In this last example, we will compare the greatest common divisor and least common multiple of 20 and 30 by using the Venn diagram. Let's obtain the prime factors of 20 and 30. For 20, they are 2, 2, and 5. For 30, 2, 3, and 5. The repeated factor are placed in the intersection and form the greatest common divisor. In this case, 2 times 5, that is 10. And this value, by the remaining factors of each number, forms the least common multiple that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Therefore, the least common multiple of 20 and 30 at 60. Texan Global School Global Online Learning Knowledge for the World www.texanglobalschool.com